YouTube. I am back and I'm going to give you guys another meal prep segment. Um, what I'm going to be cooking is stuffed bell peppers with sweet potato on the side. Now this meal is going to last me for the next four days and it's stuffed with chicken which is what I really love and I'm also going to be putting like some chopped onion in there, some chopped jalapenos, um, a little bit of shredded cheese and salsa. So I'm going to go ahead and get you guys started because my last meal prep a lot of people liked it and some people actually tried it which made me feel really good because I didn't think anybody would really watch the videos or try it so I'm going ahead and I'm doing another one so let's go ahead and get started I always never have my face or hair done in these videos so this is like literally how I look almost every day unless I'm running errands I'm in my gym clothes waist trainer hair not done Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, everybody. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is seasoning my chicken. So I'm going to be using Weber's Kickin' Chicken Lemon Pepper and Zatarain's Creole Seasoning. Now, it doesn't matter what brand you get for any of these. So I'm just letting you guys know. But I also used Soul Food Seasoning, which is by Clover Valley. And you can actually find that in Dollar General. I love going to Dollar General because they always have really cheap seasonings for like literally a dollar. So check that out if you're like me and love seasonings. Because yes, I know we're trying to eat healthy. But like I said in my last meal prep video, I just cannot cut back on my seasonings. So I'm going to beat the seasonings into the chicken on both sides, wash my hands, okay and next you're going to want to get a skillet and I'm using coconut oil or you can use olive oil, either one is healthy and I'm putting my chicken in there and I'm going to start cooking it. I was going to use the lid that I saw in the video but it didn't fit. And I forgot that I actually lost the lid to that skillet, so. Now, the total time to cook this chicken is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes on medium heat. So just letting you guys know, next I'm going to go ahead and start cutting my veggies. And this is a disclaimer, I am not a chef, I'm not the best person when it comes to cutting my vegetables I'm pretty sure I'm cutting my onion the hard way so if you guys know an easier way to cut an onion or have a video on how to do it please comment down below because I would love to watch that because I always have a really hard time cutting my onions and also I'm probably even not going to use this whole chopped onion for my stuffed bell peppers or any of the vegetables that I'm cutting up for that matter because obviously they're not the whole everything is not going to fit into my bell peppers so more than likely I'll save whatever doesn't go in and I'll just save it for another meal and if you guys don't like onions by the way you can just take this out of the recipe and add something else anything that I'm putting in this guys by the way you can take stuff out and just twist it up make it your own you know I mean it's I just love cooking I love trying new things and you know making my meals a little bit different each time just because I like to mix it up so next I'm gonna be taking a jalapeno and I'm gonna just cut that up not like finely cut it up but I'm gonna cut it up into small enough pieces to fit into the bell peppers And also guys, the more videos that I make, you are going to realize that I absolutely love spicy food. Like, I don't know, I just literally love it so much. Like, I can just eat spicy food every day. And I did read online that peppers and spicy things also help aid in your weight loss. Obviously, if it's healthy, though, it will. Because it heats you up inside internally and your body has to work extra hard to burn those calories. Well, what I read online. So, I'm checking out my chicken right now. It's almost done. It's looking really good. And it smelled amazing in my house, by the way, when I was cooking this. Another disclaimer, please excuse my stove. Um, I hate cleaning my stove, honestly. It's not going to be the most perfect stove on earth. But, yeah. So, I'm sorry. Please save the negative comments. 
I do clean it though, just not, I don't know. Anyways, I'm cutting my bell pepper. Uh, I took the stem of it and cut off some of the bell pepper from that and just chopped it up so I can put it inside of my bell pepper. Next, I'm going to be cutting the actual bell pepper in half because those are going to be my shells for when I stuff them. Or, you know, you can also, you don't have to cut it in half. You can use the whole thing. But me personally, I like to be low calorie. So I cut it in half. That way, one bell pepper can last me for two separate meals. So I'm going to be doing the same thing to the red bell pepper, cutting off the stem and then cutting some of the bell pepper off from the stem. And I'll just be stuffing it into my bell pepper. Stuffing a bell pepper with bell pepper. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, don't forget to take the insides out, guys, of course. And I actually like red bell peppers a little bit more because they're a little bit bigger usually than green bell peppers. And they're longer, which is a bit better for this recipe they also have orange bell peppers and yellow be bell peppers I mean all types of bell peppers are good so next I'm gonna be taking my sweet potato and I'm gonna be cutting that into threes because one sweet potato can last me at least two to three days I mean sweet potato is a good type of carb to have and it's a good um, like substitute for regular potatoes because I absolutely love potatoes mashed fried boiled steam whatever I am so weak when it comes to potatoes so I mean sweet potatoes can be a good alternative so that's how the chicken looks done I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting it up I can't really shred it because I use a chicken thigh for this recipe simply just because chicken chipping <laughs> excuse me chicken thighs are a little bit cheaper but you can use like chicken legs if you want and just shred the meat off like you can boil it and then just shred the meat off when it's cooked or you can use chicken breast and pan fry it the way i did you can use any kind of chicken whether you pan fry it or boil it in the end you're gonna just be shredding the chicken or cutting the chicken to put inside your bell pepper you could just literally see the juice like coming out of that chicken like I was eating it while I was cutting it I mean it, it was just so good so that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing and I low-key wish I would have had a chicken breast because it would have been easier to like shred it, but I mean this is still good. So next you're gonna, I'm taking some olive oil. I'm setting my oven to 375 degrees. I'm pouring the olive oil all over the um, baking sheet that I'm going to be using. Actually, it's really a comal, but I my last baking sheet actually broke and it was really old. So this is what I'm compromising with. So after I put the olive oil on there I spread it all around the foil with a napkin so now what I'm doing is just taking my sweet potatoes and I'm rolling it all around in the olive oil that's on the sheet and then I'm sprinkling um, cinnamon sugar on each side of it because it's a really good and when you put the olive oil on it like uh, saturating in it from the sheet it's gonna help it cook faster and gets like softer without having to use butter so while my oven's heating up I'm gonna go ahead and start stuffing my bell peppers and I mean this is pretty much easy you just stuff it the way that you want and no matter what you use, like I said, you can mix this recipe up, is which is why I love it. You can use ground turkey, which is what my best friend used when she introduced me to this recipe. If you're watching this video, Alyssa, I'm shouting out to you. I love you. Thank you. Um, you can use ground turkey, ground beef. You can use shredded chicken. You can use 
salmon or fish if that's what you're digging you know what i'm saying or you can just use all veggies you can put black beans in this with some corn and avocado and um salsa and some cheese and bake it if you're a vegetarian you don't have to use meat i use meat because i love meat and i don't eat that many meals throughout the day so i have to make sure that i have protein so just keep that in mind you can totally switch this recipe up and also guys what i do recommend is i noticed after i every this video was done and i started eating it was a little bit bland what i should have done is before i added the cheese and the salsa when you're done stuffing it i recommend kind of sprinkle it with some garlic salt or regular salt not like a whole lot but just sprinkle it over it a little bit just so that it gets into the veggies and stuff that i did stuff into this bell pepper and it gives it more flavor so it's not as bland i mean i didn't mind because i like vegetables but i mean it i know it could have tasted better so i'm just giving you guys that little tidbit just try to remember to put some salt or some kind of seasoning on it and then do the cheese and the salsa But all in all, I have to say, like, this was a really good recipe. And honestly, this was my first time making it. And I made a video with you guys. Um, the whole time I was making this video, I was hoping it was going to turn out delish. Because I didn't want to give you guys a bad um, video or recipe. But it does taste really, really good with um, ground turkey. Just letting you guys know that. I know I already said that, but I'm just, like stressing that but i mean this the way i made it is really good too so you can always just try it every single time you make this recipe you can just like put in different meat so it's different every time and the next time i make this i'll probably use like a red and yellow bell pepper excuse me bell pepper or red and orange giving you guys a little sneak peek of that okay so that's how it looks all set up and done it looks so delicious like literally that looks good giving you guys a little food porn on your phone or computer screen <laughs> And literally, once you put this in the oven, you're going to want to leave this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes just to make sure your potatoes cook well and your bell peppers get soft but not too, too soft. They still have a good crunch at the end. So I'm just letting you guys know, set your oven to 375 and put this in there. And it'll, I promise you, it'll turn out great. 15 to 20 minutes. I hope you guys liked it. Bye. and there you guys have it i hope you enjoyed this other meal prep if you've tried it let me know and let me know if you like it if you have tried it and you've tried it in a different way comment down below and let me know also i'm as you guys saw really not the best at cutting onions or almost any type of vegetables like i said this is a disclaimer i'm not a chef i'm not a professional this is just how i do my stuff you know people ask me and i'm down to earth i keep it real this is how i do it this is how i look this is how my kitchen looks my kitchen's small but i mean it gets the job done so i will be putting it in something like this the rest of my food for my meal preps and then probably it's about one o'clock now i'm gonna go ahead and eat as you guys know i'm not gonna eat again if i get hungry i'll probably snack on some mangoes because i love mangoes so much like I had to sing it because I love it so much so uh, let me know what you guys think of this meal prep bye